morning guys um i just got to work right now this morning my current routine has been pretty much just waking up at 4 45 5 a.m in the morning going to the gym coming home getting ready and coming to work however today is a little bit different because today is the first day of my uh, semester as a master's student in aerospace engineering. For those of you who are new to my channel, um, I just graduated in, in May with my undergraduate in uh, aerospace engineering with an emphasis in astronautics and I'm currently full-time um, space systems engineer. However, I decided to go back to school to continue my 4 plus 1 uh, which is a program that ASU provides for students that have kind of GPA where you can pretty much on your senior year of undergrad work on your master's degree as, at the same time so I still have that plus one version to finish and today is my first day of classes so I thought I would bring you guys along with me um, I really miss doing vlogs I feel like I haven't done them in a while but I'm excited to pretty much go back to school and I don't know people think I'm kind of weird but I enjoy actually going to school so um, I'm actually super excited about it and I thought it'd be great for you guys to come along um, I don't think I mentioned this but I I'm only taking two classes this semester I think full-time for masters is three classes but because I'm working full-time as an engineer I kind of wanted to take it a little bit easier on myself well it's not really gonna be easy uh, because I, I was told that one class is a little bit too much but two is actually a lot but um, I don't really want to drag my masters too long so I decided to take two classes every semester and this semester I am taking polymers and composites and a math requirement which I think the the name of the class is um, uh, I think linear algebra for engineers um, it's a master's or graduate level uh, math class and it's gonna be from Thursday Tuesdays and Thursdays from 430 to 715 I believe so yeah I will take you guys along with me. Let's go. Okay, I gotta refilm this section because I put my finger on the mic. <laughs> but yeah, I just got done with class. It's seven, uh, almost 7.10 right now. My class usually ends at 7.15. My polymers and composite class was interesting. Um, apparently we have two different professors for two separate sections. So the first section is polymers and we're gonna have one professor, second section composites. We're gonna have another professor, which is really weird because I've never really had a class like this. Um, however, it sounded like a really interesting um, subject just because the aerospace industry uses a lot of composites So I felt like it's something that I should probably know But yeah, um, it wasn't really too bad. It was a little crowded and um, He already assigned the first homework, so Yeah um, However, the second class which is linear algebra and engineering it wasn't too bad, it was extremely crowded. I think it's because it's a, one of those classes where you have a lot of um, engineering majors. I think there was mechanical, aerospace, chemical, material science, I believe. They all were in that class, so it was at least 190 people, so it's super crowded. I felt a little bit claustrophobic, so maybe I should sit in the front next time, but uh, the professor I think is new, so he was very much nervous he was stuttering a lot and I can really hear a lot what he was saying but that's kind of normal uh, sometimes specifically for like classes of that caliber like when you have so many students like 190 students like staring at you so it's kind of nerve-wracking but hopefully he gets better next time it was very 
nostalgic walking through campus and seeing all these new kids um i swear to god i feel like every semester there's just new people and it just gets more crowded and more crowded like you can just barely walk in a straight line but i'm glad to be back excited to see what's gonna happen for masters so i really hope that you guys will join me on um my second chapter of academics i guess um i don't know i might go for a phd but you never know <laughs> but yeah um i haven't been on campus in a while so it was kind of weird walking around and kind of like reminiscing on oh this is a library where i used to spend countless nights but yeah um i'm gonna go to yoga now and i'll talk to you guys later Okay, I wish, hopefully you guys can hear me because I'm at Starbucks right now and it's pretty loud, but um, on my previous video, I got a few questions about how I set up my, um, pretty much my, my months, I guess, during school. So I just wanted to show one example. For example, um, I kind of put down all the important dates that I need for this upcoming month, September. And um, I, as you can see, I have my classes what homeworks are due, for which class, what exams I have, and uh, when I should study for each exam. For example, here I have exam one on the 6th, so I will be studying on the weekend. Um, as I said before, this kind of helps me visualize what days I have to pretty much like only um, not schedule anything in. Like for, if, for example, if my friends ask me, hey, do you want to hang out on this weekend? I'm gonna have to say no <laughs> because I know that I have to study for um, this midterm. Um, so it's, it's not really too crazy. Um, this one is, of course, gonna become much more crowded as as the I guess life goes on, like this, for example. But um, I like kind of color coding everything. Like exam homeworks are in pink, exams are in blue, and it's just a helpful way for me to keep track of everything that I need to do, just because. As I said before, I feel like just trying to remember everything is the law. Like remembering all these homeworks and when I have exams. And I just don't like having to go back to my school like website and check every time. So um, it's better to have everything in one place. Yeah, this is pretty much what it looks like. So yeah, that is it you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not, subscribe yet please make sure to do so and i really hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching and we'll see you next time bye